Hey guys, uh, so today I have a get ready with me video on this look. A little red theme using my Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette, which is new, one of my impulse quarantine purchases. So if you want to see me do this, then keep watching. So how is people's isolation going? Mine is sending me crazy and I'm really stressed, which you can probably tell by my skin. So my skin is really stressed and I'm really stressed and I'm breaking out. So let's not judge me for that. But anyway, what are you guys doing to keep yourself sane? I thankfully am still going to work Monday to Friday, so it's just the weekends that I have to keep myself sane. Which is still proving hard because I'm generally not the kind of person that likes to sit at home and do nothing for long periods of time, or at all really, let's be honest. I'm probably not going to talk while I do my eyebrows because this needs a lot of concentration. My eyebrow pomade is dry. Ugh. I'm sorry if this is awkward, but it is my first talking to the camera video in a long time, so I'm sure I'll get used to it. They kind of look the same. <laughs> oh, good God. No, they don't. Okay. Ignore that. Honestly, drawing on my eyebrows is already my most hated task. I feel like they just never turn out the same or quite like I really want them to. This one looks okay. This one, I don't know. We're just gonna roll with it. So not to be a Debbie Downer, but I'm just gonna whinge for a minute. So obviously like every exciting April plan I had has been canceled. And it's really not helping my depression, hey. Like, I had some really exciting shoots in the works and I was meant to get tattooed at the Tattoo Expo in March, which got canceled. And then I was supposed to get tattooed next weekend, which is obviously canceled. Oh my God, this isn't even blending like it normally does. It's so dry, okay. And I was supposed to shoot pretty much every weekend this month. And wow, God, what? Oh my God. I haven't drawn eyebrows on in a couple of weeks, maybe. And they're just not good. They're not good. All right, don't judge me. Anyway, yeah. Cancelled tattoos, cancelled shoots. I was supposed to go to Brisbane in July for the Motionless and White and I Prevail concert. Like I was going to do Sydney and Brisbane, but I mean, they haven't said anything yet, but I'm just going to put it out there and say that that whole tour is probably going to be cancelled. So that's my sad rant for the day. But on a positive note, <laughs> I don't know. I still have a job. And I guess this has given me time to start my YouTube channel. Um, oh man. 
Look at that. I just got pomade all over my blood sugar palette that's new and all pretty. Okay. Anyway. So. I've decided to start my YouTube channel again. As you can see. So if there's anything you want to see from me, leave it down below. But I have some ideas and it'll generally be a lot of makeup, fashion, beauty stuff. But yeah, if there's anything in particular you want to see, let me know. Also, if you care, I was using the Kat Von D eyebrow pomade and now I'm using Revolution Concealer. I don't know how I feel about my eyebrows today, but I feel like once we get everything else going, they might be okay. So, I bought the blood sugar palette the other day, which I've been wanting for so long. I'm so excited. But, um, I really want to try it today. I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do. So... I don't know, let's work it out. You'll find out when I find out, honestly, because I don't know. But, Urban Decay Lash Primer. Now, what do we want to put on? I feel like to start with, I at least need to put on a base color. So, I am gonna get my uh, naked smoky palette and use this one over here that's just like a mm, light beige or whatever you want to call it so quarantine has also been really bad for <laughs> my online shopping addiction okay I've bought so much shit including this Jeffree Star palette and clothes and god whatever else like there is nothing to do so i just online shop there's nothing in the future to be excited about right now so I'm like, well at least i have a package coming a package is exciting right that's my logic right now it's not good for my bank account but um anyway also, I touch my nose a lot because I have nose piercings, okay? Like, don't call me out. So, oh, these are all so pretty. I want to I wanna do something red. But I don't know what kind of red we want to go with. Like, on this bottom row, mm, we're going to go cherry soda. Okay. Okay. I feel like I need to put some blood sugar in there. Can I show you? It's so nice. I feel like it's probably not a crease color because of all the glitter, but we're gonna put it in the crease anyway. We don't need no rules. No, we don't need no rules. All right. Now I feel like I need a little bit of black in the crease because do I ever do an eye look without black? Not really. Not really. Ten years later when I find a brush in here. A particular brush that I'm looking for. Um, where are you? There you are. I love this little Morphe brush. Look at it. Look at that. It's just perfect. Sugar pill black. The best. I just just a little bit because we don't 
We don't want to make her completely black. We just want to darken her up just a touch. I feel like I'm just going to keep putting more on until I fuck it up. <laughs> Story of my life. No, that'll do, that'll do. Okay, and then, and then, and then, and then, we need something here. So, I don't know. I feel like we'll go in with candy floss. It's like a light shimmery kind of pink. Ooh, yeah, she's pretty, okay. Soft, like ooh, buttery. Love that. Okay. All right. Beautiful. Now to do the other eye. I'm sorry if I keep looking in the viewfinder. Um, I will probably do that for a while <laughs> until I get used to this. Anyway. This liquid eyeliner is by Essence, the liquid ink waterproof, and it's five dollars and it's the best liquid eyeliner I have ever used in my life. I've been buying it for years now and I will never buy anything else. It's so good. It will not come off for anything. My drawer was really loud. And you're probably gonna come for me about holding my eye like that. Apparently it's bad for your wrinkles and shit, but I can't not do it. I don't know how people do their liquid eyeliner without pulling their eye like that. I can't do it. I don't know. I have to do it. Otherwise, I, I can't do eyeliner without getting it everywhere. All right. Okay, now the real challenge, getting the other wing to look the same. All right, well, this eye looks heaps better than this eye, but you know what, oh well. We're just, we're leaving it at that before I do make it a little worse. Um, mascara. I used to benefit a bad girl bang. Just in a travel size though, because I'm cheap. But I really, I'm not fussed about mascara, hey, because I just wear false lashes anyway. So it doesn't really matter. For my eyeliner, like my waterline, I always use gel. 
because it stays all day or night, whatever. The point is, it doesn't come off like pencil does. My favorite, whoops, my favorite and the one I've been using for years, which I find just stays the best and isn't that expensive is the Steeler smudge pot. I really need a new one because it's kind of dried up, but anyway. Okay. Concealer under my eyes is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. We're not going to bust out the expensive foundation for that. Okay. The Revolution Concealer to fix the bits where I'm breaking out. Because as I said, I am stressed. My skin is stressed. Everyone's stressed. Honestly though, the foundation is pretty good coverage. Like I don't... I don't need to cover much. I always have redness on my chin. Anyway, when you're pale as fuck, redness looks even worse. So, but yeah, the Revolution Foundation honestly covers pretty well. Um, Max Studio Fix Powder is always my go to. It's, it's honestly the only powder I own. Apart from Kat Von, well, she's not Kat Von D anymore, is she? But for the sake, I'm probably gonna just say Kat Von D makeup every time I talk about it. But that loose powder, which annoys me because it's messy. But nonetheless, I use it underneath my eyes. Oh my God. I hate loose powder. I hate it. Look at that. I don't, actually don't know if you can see that, but just like smoke everywhere. I hate it. Okay. I realize what I haven't done is go under my eyes with the red a bit. So I'm going to do that just with whatever's left on the brush that I used because we don't want it to be too, too crazy. And that'll do. Okay. Um, so, contour. So, because I am a ghost, I can't use bronzer and stuff to contour. It's just, it's way too dark. It's too muddy. It looks orange on my skin. I use this eyeshadow. That's just a Sephora brand eyeshadow in the color Hurricane Wave. Did that focus? I don't know. Anyway, it's just like a gray brown. And it makes a really good contour color if you are really pale. This is the Black Moon Cosmetics Moonlighter in Squid. Yeah, Squid. It's just the kind of plain white one. It definitely has maybe some bluish undertone to it, but it's mostly just like a white. Again, really good for pale skin. So, lip color. 
know what I want to do. Do we want to do a dark red or do we want to do like a cherry red? Actually, mm, maybe this. Because I haven't used this very much. This is Dose of Colors. And what's this called? Extra Saucy. Yes. Okay. We're going to go with this one. This was the best choice of red shade to correspond with the red shade on my eyeballs, but it's on my lips now, so we're just gonna go with it. So, my favorite go to false eyelash is the Midnight Valentine Lash by Model Rock. And you can get them in, I'll go have a full pack here. We can get them in these five packs. And they're great. When Model Rock had, they had a 40% off sale at some point and I bought five of these. I'm now down to three. But that's still gonna keep me stocked for a while. I love these lashes, okay. The black duo lash glue is always my favorite. I love this stuff. Okay. Waiting. Beautiful. Now the real challenge is my right lash. No. <laughs> Got on my left lash, sorry. Because, you know, this one, perfect. I'm right handed, plonk, goes on, beautiful. Left lash, never. Left lash, never goes on properly. Okay, here we go. Sorry, my Mary's in the shot now, but I need to see what I'm doing. Oh, good. Okay. All right, well, okay, that didn't go too bad. I think. Munched a bit of glue, but look, it's not that bad. Oh, fuck, no. Okay, it's bad. Excuse me, sir, if you could just um, stay in place. Thank you. The corner's not sticking. Nine one one. I need help. <laughs> okay, I just picked a little, little bit of eyeliner. Oh my god, no! What? What the fuck? What did you do? What have I done? I told you this eye just it doesn't it doesn't work. It doesn't happen. It just doesn't it doesn't happen. We're not going to talk about it, okay? We're not going to talk about it. I don't even know if it's stuck down properly, but... It'll do because I'm not going anywhere. Wow, now I've made a mess. Okay. But we're done. We're done. We're done, we're done, we're done. So, this is the finished look. Tell me what you think and all that. I'll give you a close up.
yeah thank you guys for watching uh comment down below and let me know what you guys think let me know what kind of videos you want to see from me uh i don't know tell me about your quarantine keep me entertained anything at all and i'll see you guys in my next video bye